Hello and welcome to our day nine stop along our journey towards consecration to St. Joseph. Coming to you uh, this final time from uh, Helen, Georgia, Unicoi. You can see I kind of wanted to give you guys a look at the beautiful view and scenery I've been enjoying all weekend. And uh, wish you all were here with me. It's beautiful up here and uh, uh, been in enjoying this retreat immensely so as we look at saint or at uh, saint joseph today on our our journey we start into his very many titles and attributes and uh, day nine takes us to noble offspring of david pray for us in the gospels of matthew and luke we learn that St. Joseph is of the lineage of the Davidic kings. The Old Testament prophets always taught that the Messiah would come from the Davidic line. Mary, our spiritual mother, was most likely a descendant of King David as well. But her ancestry is not given in the New Testament. Matthew and Luke present the lineage of Joseph because the Davidic ancestry of the Messiah needed to be shown through the Father's line. Therefore, Matthew and Luke made a point of emphasizing that even though Jesus is not the biological son of Joseph, he is the son of Joseph by law. As such, Jesus has a legal right to be called a descendant of King David. Pope Benedict said, the espousals between Joseph and Mary are an episode of great importance. Joseph was of the royal line of David and, in virtue of his marriage to Mary, would confer on the son of the virgin, on God's son, the legal title of son of David, thus fulfilling the prophecies. St. Joseph was king of the Holy Family. He was not the king of Nazareth, Israel, or anything like that. Since every man is the king of his home, St. Joseph was the king of his house. In the home of Nazareth, St. Joseph was king, Mary was queen, and Jesus was the prince, awaiting the kingdom prepared for him by his heavenly Father. Jesus is King of kings and Lord of lords, of course, but God's providential love desires that we acknowledge the kingship of St. Joseph in the Holy Family. Jesus himself gave us an example of the filial love and reverence we owe to St. Joseph, our spiritual father. St. Joseph is a noble lord. Many saints have often lovingly referred to St. Joseph as their Lord. St. Teresa of Avila was particularly fond of referring to St. Joseph as her Lord. In using this term, no saint intends to claim that St. Joseph is God. St. Joseph is not God. Saints sometimes use the term Lord when addressing St. Joseph out of respect as is done when addressing dignitaries and rulers. Saints are pious and love to express their filial relationship to Mary and St. Joseph in devotional language. Mary, for example, is called Madonna, derives from the Latin Mea Domina, which is my lady, and is the feminine form of Lord. Referring to St. Joseph as Lord has biblical foundations as well. Remember Joseph in the Old Testament, the one sold into slavery by his brothers. Well, Joseph's brothers end up calling him their Lord when they encounter him again, and he saves their family from famine. For us, St. Joseph is more than a brother. He is our noble spiritual father. He is our loving spiritual Father and Lord. St. Alphonsus Liguori said, Noble St. Joseph, 
I rejoice that God found you worthy of holding this eminent position whereby established by as the Father of Jesus, you saw the one whose order who, whose orders heaven and earth obey subjecting himself to your authority. Let us pray our litany today in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. God the Father of heaven have mercy on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. I skip the line. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. I want to make sure he's listening. Holy Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Noble offspring of David, pray for us. Light of patriarchs, pray for us. Spouse of the Mother of God, pray for us. Chaste guardian of the Virgin, pray for us. Foster father of the Son of God, pray for us. Zealous defender of Christ, pray for us. Head of the Holy Family, pray for us. Joseph most just, pray for us. Joseph most chaste, pray for us. Joseph most prudent, pray for us. Joseph most courageous, pray for us. Joseph most obedient, pray for us. Joseph most faithful, pray for us. Mirror of patience, pray for us. Lover of poverty, pray for us. Model of workmen, pray for us. Glory of domestic life, pray for us. Guardian of virgins, pray for us. Pillar of families, pray for us. Comfort of the afflicted, pray for us. Hope of the sick, pray for us. Patron of the dying, pray for us. Terror of demons, pray for us. Protector of the Holy Church, pray for us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, Graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. He has made him Lord of his household and Prince over all his possessions. Let us pray. O God, who in your loving providence chose blessed Joseph to be the spouse of your most holy mother, grant us the favor of having him for our intercessor in heaven, whom on earth we venerate as our protector. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And may God bless you all. God who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let me just give you a panoramic view of what's behind me here. Just a little piece of God's marvelous creation. God bless you all, and we'll see you tomorrow.